Hi everyone and welcome back to another sharp tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to learn how to calculate uh, permutations. So head over to your Microsoft Visual Studio, go to File, uh, New Project, <coughs> Windows Form Application, and we'll call it Permute. <coughs> Click OK. And there you go. So we'll need one button, uh, six labels, two text boxes and two radio buttons so we'll say text box we'll have one and the second one and we'll have a button two radio buttons And labels all well, have six labels. So just copy that. And just one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, it is seven, so six. So the first one we're going to name it to permutations. And we're going to change the font to 15 and it's bold. There you go. And then the radio button, the first one will be called yes, and the second one will be called no. Uh, there you go. And now this label two will be how many different numbers are possible. And uh, label 3 will be called how many numbers are used. And the last 3, this one will be called can you repeat a number. So we have the option of yes or no. Number five will be called result. Result, and we'll make it bold. It's bold, and it's twelve. There you go. And the last one, <coughs> it'll be twelve, and it'll be bold. And the text will be 0 0.00. There you go. And the button, let's do this like, like that. The button will be called calculate. There you go. So there you have it. So if you put in, if you put uh, if the possible numbers are eight, and we put four and we click on yes to give us a result if no give us a result anyways so double click on your button and there you go so the first thing we need to get the values of the text boxes which is one and two so we're gonna say int n equals int32 the parse text box one dot text dot two stray and you copy that and you paste it and then you change this to R and this to two. There you go. So that's one R and one uh, sorry one it's one of them is in and the other one is or now we're gonna say so if radio button one uh, sorry two the checked equal equal true then we're gonna calculate the permutation so we're gonna have an integer p equals one and now we do four 
int i equals n plus uh, sorry n minus r plus one i less than or equals to n i plus plus and now we're going to say p equals p multiplied by i there you go and let's go back here and we're going to change this label here you're going to change the name to label result and go back and do label result dot text equals p dot to string there you go so now you're going to copy this and you're going to paste it in here and you're going to say else if read the button one I'll check equal equal true. I'm going to remove this and we're going to say p multiply equals n. There you go. So now you're going to save it and you're going to run the application. And there you go. So if we say the possible numbers are 8 and the numbers are used are 4 and it's not repeatable, we're going to calculate it's 1680 if it is repeatable 4096